Josh Wolf, I ruined my best friend's bachelor party and it was hilarious. Sir, <laughs> I don't like the word ruined and hilarious in something that should have been a very wonderful experience for me. I don't like that. I, I ruined and it was hilarious. Say, 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 Let's see what happened. If if it's something that can be forgiven. <laughs> what well, up, sir? Eight bars entertainment. Dupree. Yeah, well, let's, let's go. go. Paul's comedy. I love bachelor jokes. This is my best one ever. My buddy asked me to throw him a, 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 a bachelor party. And I was like, man, you want me to do that. I said, I'm a comedian. I always go for the laugh. And I hope you can shake hands and be friends later. <laughs> but I'm going to fuck up your day. <laughs> Well, in that sense, you told me that, then I'm going to have to just say, well, if it goes downhill, then I'm the one to be blamed for that. Yeah, because... I, because you tell him straight up. Say him on comedian, so he's going to go for the laugh. Yes, sir. So he's going to fuck up everything. <laughs> and and, 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 you, and you go like your friend still insists you. All right, all right, all right. No problem. <laughs> as long as you agree. I said, I don't think you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already trying to decide how to fuck with you, so <laughs> can we just like uh, not have me do it? And he was like, buddy, you've been to Vegas more than any of us, you plan the party, you get the girl. Now look, I got a girl from the end of this party, that's what he wanted, a stripper. I'm not a stripper guy, I never have been a stripper guy, I don't really care. But he wanted a stripper at the end of this party, that's cool. I wanted the beginning of the party to be for me. <laughs> And what did I want to watch? What do I like way more than strippers? I like weird shit. I don't know. Guys, if you're like, hey man, there's about to be some weird shit happening in an alley, I'll be like, I'm gonna fucking watch that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. I love it. How weird? I wanted people walking out of his party like this. What the fuck just happened to them? <laughs> like, was some guy walking out with a limp? Like, why are my hands dirty? Like, weird shit, right? <laughs> Where did I think I could find that? I went on Craigslist in Vegas. Well, guys, I have never felt so horny and sad at the same time in my entire life. I want to go find Craigslist. You go find Craigslist. <laughs> no, but I'm friend for us, I'm friend. So anything I'm not friend for. Yes, you know? just keep, just keep, just keep that in mind. Anything I'm not friend for, because they tell themselves I'm gonna fuck you. Yeah, straight up, sir. <laughs> scrolling through, scrolling through. It's all sex stuff. I don't want that. I want weird. And then weird jumped off the screen at me. This woman's advertisement was three words. That's it. And those three words were. I'll wrestle ya! And I was like, fuck yeah, you will! <laughs> that at least deserves a phone call, I think, right? I call her on the phone. She is 6 foot 250. Very special that's skill. Cool. She said she'll come over to your house, she'll get naked, and she'll toss you around for a little while. <laughs> Come on! Because 
Exactly. Do not let an idiot decide for you. Yeah. Number two, 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 goes off into her room, my buddy comes over, and we've got him on a stool just like this one, and um, my other friends are standing behind him, and we get him blindfolded, and he's, well, I don't want to ruin the surprise, you know, and he's like, oh, this chair is one Ralph you made away from an accident, I'll tell you that, all right? <laughs> he, he smells the rat, sir. No, what I did. Mean. So, so when he say, he's on my chair, and it's just one Ralph for me, away from an accident, you know what Ralph for me? Yeah. Well, I'm fat comedian. Okay. And he said this chair is one we have to wait away from accident. <laughs> yes, yeah, so 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 we have so Ralph me if you do too. So so Ralph me is a fat comedian. Right. So so that's when I refer to that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright. And he's like, oh this chair is one Ralph you made away from an accident. I'll tell you that, all right? <laughs> yeah, so so you see if anyone about comedy, you know him at that point. <laughs> oh <laughs> You don't think he knows he's nine hundred pounds? He fucking knows. <laughs> So, um, he's sitting there and he's like, oh, I'm so excited! And I was like, oh, me too! And he says, I'm ready. And I said, okay, and I call her out. Now, none of my other friends knew what I had planned. So when she walked out of that room naked, Collectively, they were like, what the fuck? So wonder if that got him frightened now. No, well, uh, no, no, look, no, man. Because you and the man say, the virgin, where I will get the attack. In blind fool. But so he, must, no, he must hear when they say that. Yeah, but, but, you know what, what? Yeah, but to all they say, it could tell like, this does not sound <laughs> Too fun, but because because we went so uh, emerging them come and he, and when when the girl walk out naked, I don't say what the. Fuck? So it depends on how they said it. Well, I, 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 I am going to get up, sir. Well, and this, so, so from the little said Lord be here. Collectively, <laughs> sir. Collectively, whisper becomes nice. Sir. Collectively, whisper becomes nice. Okay, okay, okay sir. <laughs> Collectively, they were like, What the fuck? <laughs> and as she got closer, I saw that she still had buffalo wing sauce in her own. Ah. I was gonna get her a napkin, but I was like, I'm sorry, that shit is too funny on your face. I'm so <laughs> sorry. So she stands in front of him, six foot two fifty. Oh, I forgot to tell you the best part. My buddy. Five eight and one forty in like a like a like a woo-hoo, like a soft one forty, right? So the size difference alone, like I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fucking like it. <laughs> and he says, "I'm ready," and I said, "Okay," and I take off his blindfold. And the only word he could get out of his mouth was. Fuck! I'm saying fuck, sir. <laughs> it's not wow. <laughs> Before she ripped him out of his chair. Was. Why? <laughs> why? Because you insisted. That's why you insisted. <laughs> sir, did, sir, that's what it was not ruined, sir. That was fun. That's a memory, sir, to cherish. Not the regular bachelor kind of shiznit, sir. This one is special, sir. I would appreciate a friend like this in the end, sir. I'm not going to tell a lie. Even if I broke a bone or two. Yes, sir, I'm not going to tell a lie, sir. Was... Why? <laughs> she lifted him up like this, his little feet were dangling in the air. She started to toss him around the room like a rag doll, and we were all like... 
<laughs> Guys, she would jump on top of him, and he would push her fat out of his face to talk to us. He would be like, telling us stop. How long is she going to be here? I can't breathe. Why does she smell like buffalo wings? Right? There was one time where she was straddling him like this, beating him in the face with her titties. Just... I don't think you're getting the right visual. Okay, God. <laughs> Guys, this is in five foot two, 110 pound big, big tits. This is six foot, 250. Just. See <laughs> 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 that in the history of fucking never ever, I'll tell you that right now. So she. Thinks her job is done, right? She walks over here to this side of the room. My buddy gets up mad. You know when you can tell someone's mad where they never take their eyes off of that thing they're mad at? So he gets up and he walks away from her like this. And then something in him just snapped. And he just looks at her and he goes, I'm gonna fuck you up. And like a wave of calm crashed over her, like serious, like Bruce Lee entered the dragon calm. She was just like... Whoa! <laughs> 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 That's a they ran at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you understand what's happening? They're fucking fighting for real now. <laughs> It's the best gift I've ever given to myself ever. Are you kidding me? They're running at each other. I'm like, I don't even know how this is going to end. Oh my God. They're running at each other, and my buddy was mad. And he screamed, I want to take you down! Running at each other, full speed. And he ran into her. I'm going to tell you something. He really didn't try to take her down. I'll tell you what. He did not. All I can tell you is that when his little body hit hers, she kind of absorbed him for a second, and he disappeared. I was like, where the fuck did he go? And then she just shot him out across the room. Boom, and he slid on the floor, and one of my friends ran up to him and went, That just fucking happened to you! And she was mad that he challenged her or something, so she goes to us, You want to see my finishing move? You want me to finish him? And I grew up with Hulk Hogan and Randy the Macho Man Savage, so I was like, You fucking finish him! <laughs> I didn't know if she was coming off the top rope or dropping a leg or whatever. I wanted to see that shit, right? So she starts to run to him and she was like, finish him, and we go, yeah! She goes, finishing move, and we go, yeah! And she goes, you want to see the finishing move? And we go, yeah! And then she sat on his head and we went, no! <laughs> Not that finishing move! <laughs> Guys, his little head disappeared! All you could see were his tiny arms slapping her back like <laughs> Oh, it was a fight for life, I'm telling you that right now. It was the weirdest shit I've ever seen. It was like a reverse birth. It was fucked up. Oh! <laughs> and here's how you know you pulled a good practical joke. <laughs> A good practical joke is a joke that continues to pay dividends long after the joke is over. So, like a month and a half after the wedding, after the uh, uh, party, two weeks before the wedding, I ran into his dad. And his dad goes, uh, Hey, you're not coming to the wedding? I was uninvited to the wedding, by the way. Uh, <laughs> totally worth it, totally. <laughs> so he was uninvited. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice of words. Uninvited. Me, you're in. you You were invited, but I checked my mind for reasons I'm not going to say. Sorry. Uninvited. <laughs> you guys want to see how he uninvited me? This is my favorite part. This is how he uninvited me. She just got off. And he stands up and he goes, You're not coming to the wedding! (laughs) 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 (laughs)
So here's how. His dad goes, you know, come to the wedding? And I go, no. And he goes, why not? And I said, oh, uh. <laughs> Tim didn't tell you? And he said, no. No! <laughs> evil on the first album yeah. with the whistle in the back row. That's one of those kind of stories, sir. Yeah, man. Well, what a friend. You know what's going to go to Mary and he asks me and you hear the whistling on the background and the instruments and <laughs> Yo, this was crazy. <laughs> Mr. Joshua, this was crazy. <laughs> this was entertaining. This was fun. Yes, sir. But, you see, when he go on at the beginning, your friend asked him if he was, and he said, yes, sir. A comedian, and he will fuck you. Yeah, he make sure to tell you. And your friend said, yeah, man, so do it tell me. So your friend should not invite him. Should not have. He should not have. <laughs> I was the one. I told you. I asked you, are you sure? And you said, yes. <laughs> Oh, 